Hello, I'm Mesa, and I'll be your host for today. For today's broadcast, we bring updated news on the overcolor virus. Which tribe does it target most? Is there a solution? What does it look like? All these questions will be answered after we hear the weather. Heading to you, Kiwi. Today's weather is... Nice. Today's weather is nice and sunny. Back to you, Mesa. Uh, thanks, Kiwi. This virus originally targeted rainwings, considering their ability to change the colors of their bright scales. Thankfully, ever since we made the broadcast on how to practice safety measures when it comes to this dangerous virus, the number of rainwings with the virus has gone down. Unfortunately, the virus has chosen another target, the ice wings. Today, we brought on a guest to tell us more information on this virus. Let's head over to Dr. Pepperfish. Thank you, Mason. I'm very happy to be here to share updated information on this virus. As you have recalled, this virus has chosen a new target, the ice wings. My colleagues and I had thought this to be false at first, but when we started to take a closer look, we began to think again. It appears this virus has mutated to target different tribes with less colorful scales. I believe the virus thinks it is its job to add colour to the tribes. Of course, when we had discovered this, we had to immediately start on our studies. Much easier to find a solution with the rainwings since they can change their scales. We must continue our studies into this dangerously colourful virus before we come up with a solution. All we can say is to stay away from the colourful dragons, just to be safe. Thank you, Dr. Pepperfish. Of course, no surprises there. Ice wings targeted! <laughs> we'll show pictures of the ice wings with this virus so you know which dragons to stay away from. If you are the dragon with the virus, please stay in your dens and do not come out. This is the only way, for now, to make sure the virus doesn't spread. Again, to avoid being victim, we highly suggest you do not go near any dragons that look like this. Since we have heard from the professionals, we must know how the dragons of Pyra feel about this virus. You're on, Leaf. Thanks, Mesa. I'm here in the Skywing Kingdom, ready to interview dragons and hear their thoughts and opinions on what they think about this colorful virus. I'm somewhat scared in a way. Hey yo! Um... Uh... So what are your thoughts on the mutated overcolored virus? Miss insane guard lady person thing? What's a person? Oh, oh no, they're both crazy. Oh, okay, well, um... It was nice talking to ya. Hello! Eh? What are your thoughts on the mutated overcolored virus? You know, I'm just trying to ask people. Because that's what Toad wanted me to do. And it was a raise. Can you tell me? <laughs> Thanks, Leaf. I guess. It's my job to do this. Toad thinks I'm supposed to do this. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to stay tuned for whatever news comes next. This is Mesa, signing out. Since we have heard from the dragon professionals. Since we have heard from the. Since we have heard from the professionals, we must know how the dragon. Since we have heard from the professionals, we must know. I'm just gonna do it separately. <laughs>